you a welcome to St. John Prime's Fingers worship today on this fifth Sunday of Easter. Today we will begin our service. Come, let us worship the Lord. The communion, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty God, whom truly knows is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The second lesson will be read today. It comes from 1 Peter, beginning at the second chapter. Like newborn infants long for pure spiritual milk, so that you may grow into salvation. If indeed you have tasted the Lord is good, come to him a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And the living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to the holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in scripture, see I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To them who believe he is precious, but for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner, and a stone that makes them stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word as they are destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Here ends the reading. The Gospel, Alleluia verse. Alleluia to Lord, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, beginning at the 14th chapter. Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know the Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I with been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me 
will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. Here ends the Gospel. Grace and mercy to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Today's psalm, if you look at it, has a psalmist with deep faith asking for God to incline his ear, to listen, and to bring his hand down and hold the psalmist so that he won't fall into the trap of his enemies. And he's broken, and all chaos and persecution is going on around him. And he also says, Lord, I commend to you my spirit. Come down and take me out of the hand of my enemies. With that said, sometimes we're like the psalmist, running around, not knowing where to go, the world is directing us in different directions, and people are not clear on what we are to do or where we are to go. And so at that moment, we stop, and we ask Lord to be, for him to be our refuge, our crag, and our stronghold, one we can take refuge in and not be hit by our enemies. So we listen to that, and we listen that God is faithful and just and will be with us. And then we move on to another group of Christians who is being persecuted. Those in First Peter are a newly converted group of Gentiles, and they're being challenged from their family and friends to convert back and to not believe and this man, Jesus, and what he has done. And sometimes we feel that pressure in our world today, because if we believe in Jesus and anger and hate and deceitfulness are ruling in the world, we feel that pressure to go along as the crowd does. However, if we keep Jesus as our center, then that is the cornerstone. And being the cornerstone is the strong point in the building that holds the building up. And by being our cornerstone, he models for us what we are called to do as Christians. We are giving spiritual milk. We become living stones, each and every one of us. As we live, we look towards Christ and what he has done. He has He has healed the sick and brought in the poor from the edges and helped those who have no clothing. And so he tends to those who are on the edge of society and brings them in so that they too may become living stones. And he equips them with gifts to go out and to the others as he has done to them. And that is our command in chapter 13 of John. Jesus commands us to go out and love one another as God has loved us. And how do we do that? How do we know that Jesus is the one? Well, that's where the gospel comes in today. Jesus tells us he is the way, the truth, and the life those who believe in him will have eternal life. And Thomas asks, how do we get to where you're going, Jesus? And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you go follow me, you will know where my father's house is. Because as Jesus is here on earth, taking care of the oppressed people, feeding the healing the sick, feeding those who are hungry, 
He is showing us what our Father wants us to do with others because Jesus will not be here on earth to show us the way. Today, we know that he is the way. We have seen how he's healed the sick, cared for the poor. He has shown us what it means to love unconditionally. He has shown us that God's forgiveness has already happened by dying on the cross. So we know the way, the truth, and the life as we continue our life along each day and get to know Jesus and build on that relationship. Because we are those newly turned Gentiles, converted Gentiles. And sometimes our faith gets bowled over by the huge amounts of noise and deceitfulness and anger and murder that's happening out in our world today. Sometimes we lose confidence as we deal with a plague, the COVID-19 issue that's around and harmful to people. So we look towards Jesus as our Craig and our stronghold. We look towards Jesus to show us the way back to the Father. And as we do this, we are reminded that one who believes in Jesus will also do the works that he does and in fact will do greater works than what he has done because he has already gone to the Father. And so we are commanded to go out and do what Jesus has done. Go and share the word with others. Go and continue to be in a relationship with Christ. So we continue to know the way, the truth, and the life. It is hard these days and we are challenged, but with God as our center, we can always go forward. Amen. Let us pray. Uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. <clears throat> Build us up, Mother and God, as living stones united in your spiritual house. Continual, continually strengthen your church as it is sent forth to proclaim your love. 
We pray especially for new congregations and those in redevelopment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Humble us, Creator God, as part of your creation. Fill us with respect and awe for the world you have made, including volcanoes, ocean currents, tropical rainstorms, glaciers, and other forces that both destroy and create. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Align your ways to your love, O oh God. We pray for countries, leaders, and other organizations as they prepare places for those seeking refuge and safety. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of healing and rest, help those whose hearts are heavy and weighed down by many troubles. Comfort their suffering, ease their distress, and carry their burdens. We especially lift up to you the members of St. John's and Kongsbanger. Be with those in our faith community who need your healing spirit. We give thanks for those who are healing and recovering from their illnesses or their procedures. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Nurturing God, we pray for those who tend to teach young children for the safe pregnancies of expectant parents and for families who struggle with infertility and miscarriage. We give thanks for all who have shown mothering care, and we remember all for whom this day is difficult. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Generous God, you call into your brilliant light all who have died. Give us faith to take hold of the promise of your eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With bold confidence in your love, Almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Before closing him, I would like to wish everybody out there who's a mom or who has a mom, happy Mother's Day today. Our closing hymn.
sin.